we are going to look at some important grammar and vocabulary that will probably come up on the TOEIC test. And we're going to do this by looking at a difficult question. All right, so the question is coming. Before we start, please like, share, subscribe, comment, do all those wonderful things that, you know, bring me a sense of joy. Let's look at the question. Now, with this TOEIC question, if you need to pause, please pause. And then after, we're going to talk about it. All right, so maybe you needed to pause. So let's find out how to get this answer. To get this answer, you need to truly, truly know how to use the word except. Now, except can be used in two ways. It can be a preposition or it can be a conjunction. Let's see how it works. As a preposition, it means not including. In the sentence before except or except for, you will usually show 100% of something. The except, the word that follows except, is the one thing that didn't follow this rule. Now, they are used like a preposition here, so it needs to be followed by a noun form. So let's look at some examples. The first one, we have all watched the movie except for rain. Or, we have all watched the movie except Rain. Now, Rain was the only person. Everyone else watched it, but Rain was the only person who didn't watch it. It would be strange to say we watched the movie except Rain. Why is it strange? Because there's no all. There's no everybody. Let's look at another example. You can take a vacation anytime except the summer. Perfect. So the summer is the only time you can't take a vacation. It would be strange to say you can take a vacation except the summer because you didn't say you can take a vacation anytime or all the time. All right. So we know except and except for can be used as a preposition. However, it can be used as a conjunction, which means it can be followed by subject verb but it needs to be except that. Okay, now this is very toic prescriptive grammar. In this situation, you are saying why something isn't 100% true. It is very similar to but. He was very nice to my family, except that he kicked my dad in the nuts. Notice I put except that subject verb, not except subject verb. I would give you a raise, except that there is no money in the company accounts. So this is like, but I would give you a raise, but there is no money in the company accounts. Okay, let's see if except or except for work as an answer here. Grammatically, except for doesn't work because it needs to be followed by a noun form. If you say except for they, they are, you are going except for subject verb. Here, you would need a noun form. So this is wrong from a TOEIC perspective right away. Then except by itself doesn't work for two reasons. So this is D. Except doesn't work for two reasons. One, prescriptive TOEIC grammar will say that if you have subject verb, you need except that subject verb. Second, it doesn't make sense contextually. So if you look at the situation, if it says any employee can take a vacation except if they have to give a presentation to a client, this would make sense because this would stop them from taking a vacation. They have to give a presentation to a client if you used except if which is not even an option. However, if you say any employee can take a vacation except if they don't have to give a presentation, this, why would you stop them from going on vacation when they don't have to give a presentation? This is not logical. So except if should be the thing that stops them. But here, not giving a presentation, not having to give a presentation, wouldn't stop you. So 
It wouldn't make sense contextually. Okay, so now we see that it's not except or except for. I thought we could do a little bit of bonus practice. And you could finish these sentences with your own ideas. I'll do the first one, just an example. She enjoys all fruit except for pineapple. I need a noun. All right, so now we have two choices left, not including and so long as. Now, this is quite easy because not including here is a preposition. Therefore, it needs to be followed by a noun form, not a subject plus verb. And we have a subject plus verb because it says they are. So if I said I solved every problem on the test, not including number nine, this is fine because number nine is a noun. But if I said I solved every problem on the test, not including I didn't finish number nine, this doesn't work because not including is a preposition and I can't go subject verb after it. All right, so not including is incorrect. So we know the answer is C, so long as. And so long as and as long as mean the same thing. However, uh, uh, however, as long as is more common. And so long as and as long as means if, provided that, providing. It is followed by subject plus verb. For example, I always arrive at work on time so long as the subway doesn't have any delays. So I could also say, I always arrive at work on time if the subway doesn't have any delays. I can take a vacation anytime so long as I notify my boss one month in advance. I could also say, I can take a vacation anytime provided that I notify my boss one month in advance. So we go back to the TOA question and it says any employee can use their vacation time at any point throughout the year if they are not scheduled. So long as they are not scheduled to provide a presentation to our client. So the answer here is so long as. So I hope you gained a better understanding of except and except for. These can be a little tricky. So if you learn something great, if not, next time I'll do a better job. Have a wonderful week, everyone. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.